Hey guys, Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner, out here today to shoot some RWS pellets. I've got a whole pile of these guys right here. I've got some 177, 22 cal. I'm going to put a target out at 30 yards, and we are just going to, first of all, go through all of them. Then I will decide what are the four or five best out of each of those to show you guys on paper there and on camera. And we're just going to run through it. Guys, it's RWS Pellet Day. I'm Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner. Let's do it. All right, guys. So just to get you up to speed here, what's going on? I've got two in my opinion, really awesome CO2 guns out today. The reason why I chose these two guns is because in my experience, they are both what we would call the opposite of pellet picky rifles, guys. Both, both of these rifles, you can pretty much throw whatever you've got in them and they're gonna shoot it pretty well. And that's why I wanted to use these guns today for this RWS pellet testing is because, you know, some guns like one pellet a lot and they just really don't seem to like much of anything else. But these two guns, they seem to pretty much whatever you put in them, they're going to shoot it good. And so that's why I got these two guns out today. This right here is the Beeman QB78S. This is the uh, older version. They've got a new version with a mag that goes in here. This is the older version. Uh, it's a CO2 rifle. I've got a BSA. This, this is a pretty low power optic, guys. It's one and a half to four and a half power. Um, today I'm going to be shooting it off, of course, four and a half power, trying to get these groups as good as possible. Um, got my nice little bipod on the bottom here, guys. This is a really sweet little rig. That's a 22 cal. So for 177 cal, guys, I went ahead and I got out the Umarex Fusion. Now, gosh, you guys, I just love shooting both of these rifles. They're so much fun. Both of them are super quiet, super accurate, and they just place it really, guys, right where you want it, and that's what makes shooting fun. There's almost no recoil out of either of these. Like I say, super quiet, and that just makes the shooting experience really pleasurable guys um, anyways enough about the rifles this is actually about the pellets so after I went ahead and I shot the whole allotment of what I've got out of both of these rifles I kind of narrowed it down to what I thought was sort of the best five pellets for each rifle um, I had a lot of pellets guys and aside from what I thought might be the best, I sort of also shot what I thought was kind of the most interesting. I'm just going to run through kind of what I did here on the 22 cal first, because that's what I shot first. So I actually started out with these Meister Kugeln. Meister Kugeln. Some kind of German word, you guys. I'm not sure exactly how to say it. I think it's German. RWS is a German company. And I'm pretty sure Meister Kugel in the in the video today you guys are gonna see, man, they did really well. Uh, these are just a standard wad cutter type shape, but they must be very consistent in the weight and head size because they work awesome, you guys. They leave some really clean holes in the paper and at, at 30 yards, guys, these are like right on the money. Awesome pellets. Next, guys, I actually wanted to shoot some with these Hypermax. Reason why is because I always like to try something that's lead free and also it's kind of cool being co2 to get a little bit more speed out of it sometimes you know if, if i wanted to do some pesting with this maybe having a little bit more velocity would be uh, to my advantage and honestly guys the other reason why i really wanted to include these in the video is because a lot of guns they don't really shoot these hypermax so great but th this beeman guys i put five shots through like a dime size or less. Uh, I mean, it was hardly discriminatory. It looked like there was just literally two two holes just right there next to each other. Five shots with these RWS Hypermax. Pretty dang awesome. These supposedly say that they will get you up to 25% faster velocity. I didn't shoot them over the Crony today, guys, but I know they're pretty dang light. 9.9 .9 grain, 22 cal pellet. That's pretty awesome. 
9.9 grains, you guys, 22 cal. That's one of the lightest 22 cal pellet options I've ever seen, and they definitely did awesome on paper. Next, you guys, are these Super H points. I chose these because, well, they're accurate out of especially out of this beam-in guys um, and they're also been accurate out of a couple other 22 brake barrels I've shot them out of the gauntlet seems to like them um, anyways guys but they're maybe a lesser known variety here the super H points um, you know everyone knows about the wad cutters everyone knows about the super domes but these super H points I don't know. Have you guys heard about them? Maybe you have. If you have, you're cool because these things are awesome. They they work good for punching paper because they've got a sort of wad cutter type shape to them. They're also very accurate, at least out of what I've tested them so far. And they have that kind of weird hollow pointy, H pointy sort of a tip on them. So these could be a good multi-purpose pellet, guys. If you had something that really liked these H points, you could use them for shooting paper and you could use them for small game hunting. Next, I did have to try the classic Super Domes, you guys. And the reason is, well, A, because they did really well in my initial testing, but B, these are pretty widely known, but I think oftentimes a sort of forgotten pellet in the domed pellet category. We've got other pellet manufacturers that really own that category of the domed pellet. And, um, you know, everyone just kind of follows the leader and just, you know, guys, if, if you want, if your rifle shoots domed pellets well, you should give the super domes a try if you haven't, because check out this group I got with them, first of all. Second of all, they are a a good choice in 22 cal these are actually only 14.5 grains which is a, a lighter option for you guys if you want to try a lighter option then um, some of the other domed pellets are up around maybe 20 grains um, these being significantly lighter than that they might work good for you getting you a little bit of extra velocity um, and gosh you know why not test them they're a classic good domed pellet and they performed well for me today out of the qb78 Lastly, you guys, are these RWS hobbies. If you don't have a tin of these guys, get some. And I'm going to tell you two reasons why. One, as far as lead pellets go in the 22 caliber arena, these are probably some of the lightest that you're going to get. They're some of, I think, the lightest I've found so far. 11.9 grains, you guys, with a lead pellet. Now that's pretty cool because if you're like me and you like to crony test your rifles, these are going to get you probably one of the highest possible velocities with a lead pellet that you're going to get out of your different rifles. So if you're trying to see, hey, is this rifle meeting spec? Is this getting what the manufacturers say it's going to get with a lead pellet? Then if you have some hobbies, you can go ahead and test that out and you should come at least pretty close to what the manufacturer is saying that the rifle is supposed to get with a lead pellet. That's why I like to have them around for testing just to sort of know, am I hitting that benchmark that the manufacturer said I would with any given rifle? These guys are going to give me a pretty good indication of that. Now today, out of this Beeman QB78, I did not shoot just five shots. Oh no, I shot 10 shots, you guys through a hole less than the size of a dime at 30 yards with a 22 cal CO2 gun. That's pretty epic. That's the other reason why these hobbies are awesome. So that's it with the 22 cal stuff. Moving on to the 177. Had some pretty interesting stuff here, guys. First of all, I had never tried these Diablo Basics. I kind of didn't even knew they existed, guys, to be honest with you. Um, these are a very just classic uh, wad cutter type pellet, seven grains. Again, guys, we're talking about 177 cal. So here we are with the Diablo Basics, guys. Check this group out, 30 yards, shooting out of the Umarex Fusion. Another wad cutter pellet here. These are actually 8.2 grains, so they're going to potentially buck the wind a little bit better. And for me today, these did actually really stinking awesome, you guys. These are the RWS R10 match pellets. These are available in a tin like this, you know, just your standard tin. And guys, these are really pretty, really pretty wad cutter pellets. They are so smooth and so clean. 
uh, I just really like the overall quality of these. But anyways, guys, they're available, like I say, in this tin, or you can also get them in a packaging similar to how these Hypermax pellets come, where they're all individually packaged like this, and the cool thing about that is, you guys, it might cost you a little bit more, but if you're looking for something to take with you to a field target match, to a 10 meter match, whatever it is, whatever kind of competitive shooting that you're doing, if you're using a 177 cal rifle and your rifle likes these R10 match pellets, you can get them in a package that's gonna keep them absolutely perfect. And then you can reuse that package you know, if you guys are into pellet sorting or whatever, you can keep using that same packaging to take with you guys to the matches. Kind of cool that they offer that. And the reason why that I think they're offering that with these R10 match pellets is because these are a, just a superb pellet, you guys, for close range precision shooting with a 177 cal rifle. Love the R10 match pellets. Love the group I got out of them today. And that's it. I mean, what more can you say really than that? These things are awesome, you guys. Also, guys, today I went ahead and did some super H-point testing out of the 177 cal. Kind of the same reason why I wanted to do it with the 22 cal. These had pretty good results in my initial testing, but also I wanted to see, you know, with something like this, is it a good all-around pellet? Should you get something like this and just use it for both punch and paper and potentially some small game pesting? Uh, you know, really with something like this, you're just going to be shooting mice and rats, uh, you know, at close range. But you definitely want to get a humane kill. You want to impart a lot of energy with something that has a nice hollow point like this. Is it going to do that damage that you want it to do? Probably, guys, at 30 yards, I was decently accurate with it. So I wouldn't necessarily say this would be something I'd have in my bag to go and take to a competition, at least not if I was shooting the Fusion, but I would definitely keep it around for plinking and for taking out those rats and mice if you've got them. And then of course, because I have just not said this name enough, Meister Klugeln in 177 cal with the Umarex Fusion, 30 yards, guys, they did pretty good all right check it out i had sort of two-ish groups more or less forming i put five shots and they all went through two holes now the the overall group size on that is probably just over an inch center to center but maybe if i sorted these pellets or maybe if i just perfected my consistency with this fusion i might have been able to get all five of those shots through one hole so you guys as far as accuracy goes today out of this i i don't know man these meister klugelns are pretty dang awesome so if you've got a 177 cal and you have not tried these yet these would be another one i would say guys definitely add them to the cart next time you're pellet shopping these are another 8.2 grain option and to be honest guys i'm not exactly sure what the particular difference is between the Meister Clue gallons and the R10 match. They're the, they're the same weight. Last pellet I tested today was the RWS Powerball. And the reason why I tested these is not because they did the best in the initial testing, but because they did good enough. And I wanted to show you guys what they could do out of the Fusion because they're an interesting pellet. They're kind of different, you guys. They're one of these pellets that has a, like a BB-esque looking tip on them. And then of course the rest, and then of course the rest is made out of just your standard lead pellet. In my thinking, that might be a good choice to go with if you are doing some small game hunting pesting sort of with this rifle i would even feel pretty confident at the right distance 25 yards or so taking a squirrel with this guy using these power balls reason why i would go to the power balls for something like a squirrel is because they have a little bit tougher hide than a mouse or a rat and this power ball is going to help you to penetrate that hide uh, also 
go through skull material if you're going for a headshot and it might do you guys a little bit better on something like a squirrel if you were to be using 177 cal to hunt them uh, rather than something like these super h points that have that nice hollow point but they're going to quickly dissipate their energy might not have as much penetration as something like the powerball so it's just something for you guys to consider uh, I hope that this test has been informative at the very least to show you guys how these different pellets can be, you know, how they can perform. This of course is no guarantee as far as how they're going to perform out of your rifle because each rifle is different. Heck, you could even have another fusion and it might shoot these pellets slightly different. But I think you guys, just the overall consistency that was demonstrated today can help you see that any one of these pellets is a good choice for you to consider consider throwing in the cart next time that you're pellet shopping if you've got a 177 cal or a 22 cal and you just want to try something different gosh you guys i don't think rws gets enough credit for the pellets that they make because they do make some really good stuff that's why i wanted to throw this little video out there for you guys not to say that these are the best in whatever you're going to shoot but they are a decent and very consistent option that I think gives you a good sort of baseline regardless of if they are the best they are still something that is a good tool a good asset to have in your pellet collection and that's it I'm Ben the Outdoors Air Gunner outdoors having a whole lot of fun doing some pellet testing I hope you guys are having fun with your air guns too and I'll see you in the next video